Yo, we are back early again, early in the morning. I'm just an early bloomer. But, uh, you know, we about to go and finish this whip today. So, um, nah, we ain't gonna finish it today. Nah, we're gonna finish it today, but we just gonna get the sanding going, get shit rolling. Alright, guys, so, I went ahead and, uh, put everything put together so far with the gun. I don't know if you can tell, this smoky in here, bro. Let me show you guys something. Finally, after a long, long time of having it, uh, gray primer, we're officially painting it. So, yeah, um, we just got done painting that fender. Um, we waited like three, four hours. Um, it's pretty dry, but it's not cured all the way. But, um, I decided to move on to the next thing, which, uh, this piece here, um, as you can see, this side is painted, this side's not. This side in here is really faded, so I decided just to go ahead and paint that. And since I'm already on there, this uh, radiator cross mount piece, I decided to go ahead and do two because, well, why the hell not? I mean, I got the extra red paint. I'm going to do it. It's faded. Um, it's the easiest thing to do without doing the engine bay, so we'll go ahead and clean that up, make that look nice and pretty. Um, we do got the hood off, as you guys could obviously see, which kind of looks badass to me. Um, I am going to repaint the hood, because the hood was rattle canned. So, that's looking pretty mint. So, I think I'm carrying myself a little bit too much, but, uh, I decided to sand that down and repaint it, because... It's pretty jacked up, and this piece over here, this was super faded, so we're just going to go ahead and paint that too. Just, just, why why not? Let's just go ahead and do it. There it is. Looks crazy good. When the paint dries, it actually blunts in. This side needs to be buffed out. But... Looks hella good. So, let's go ahead and move on to the hood. I gotta make a few more adjustments. Uh, get a little bit more sanding done. So, there's a little bit of uh, ru uh, rough little spots like this. Um, but, we are going to sand it down and uh, jump on it. Alright, so, found the uh, little bare spots of metal. And we went ahead and just spray painted over them. Uh, all through the front. I got some chips in there. Some chip marks. But whatever it is what it is. Um, hopefully the next step will sand it. Clean it. Paint it. Clear coat it. Alright so I ran out of paint. How unfortunate. But it is what it is. Um, we'll probably get some more later today. Finish that up. Um, I'm putting the car back together slowly. Very slowly because that paint isn't cured yet. Um, that side is not fully cured, but it's decent. It's fine. Fine enough. If some touches it, it's okay. But this mother effing radiator support piece. That piece right there is not okay. So I just put this latch back on and that that was very, very uh, scary. But we're going to go ahead and put the lights on and I think uh, put the bumper on. Call it a day. All we got to do is paint this and then we'll be good. But it looks great. Finally happy that that is one solid color. Um, one side of color that matches. Um, see now, even though it is painted the same color as the car, it's still off because this car is from 96 and that paint is faded as fuck. But, we good though. We good. Alright guys, so, a little bit of uh, what's been going on here. 
so I got this 1995 Honda Prelude. I think it's a 95, but it's got it's really bad damage. I just got done cleaning up some of this Bondo because it's so much. I don't even know why that's on there, but it's on there. Um, we're gonna fix up this hole there. Uh, what else? Fix up that little hole there. Clean this all up. Now, this was already primer black and it was horrible, completely horrible. So, the customer wanted to go with the what is it? The jet black. So, we're gonna go ahead and use the jet black. I got some clear coat to go over that. Um, so pretty much I got done sanding this whole thing down. It's all nice, ready to go. Um, just got to get some uh, what you call it what's that stuff called the uh, degreaser for that and then get some degreaser up here mask this whole thing off clean it up real good once it's all cleaned up we'll get it pretty much ready to go and paint so let's go ahead and run yes we're gonna take that car right there and run over to AutoZone pick up some some uh, uh, not weld but uh that 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 metal weld shit we're gonna go ahead and get that boom get that there and we're probably gonna do the same thing up here and just clean it up real good and see how it comes out hey what's up guys um, today we're working on a 1996 or 95 one of those um, Honda preludes it is a customer's car definitely not my car definitely wish it was my car but Unfortunately not actually I don't wish it was my car because it's not real wheel drive But all in all we're gonna work on this car today and see how it goes right now We're on our way to AutoZone to pick up some Some uh, some of that good shit. All right guys. There it is. We got the prelude halfway done And uh, this is what it came out to be now there this car is in very rough shape as you can see like look at this This is just me practicing. I'm by far no professional um but for my time being um, a two-day um, painter, not pro, came out pretty decent. As you can see, there's some dents in there and stuff. There was a there was a huge rust hole right here um, in this area. And what I did was actually I took. Now this is some real ghetto shit, but. I took some uh, JB Weld, took some JB Weld, slapped that puppy right there nice and flat, laid it down, sand that sucker all the way down where it's nice and smooth. Now he got a nice even surface, it's not going to leak, um, but there it is, we got the hood done, um, it's looking, it's pretty okay, it ain't too bad, I mean, a little bit of buffing for, the, uh, for that orange peel effect to go away, it's definitely going to be needed, but all in all, it does look absolutely gorgeous um, and then oh yeah this piece right here uh, that piece was all full of Mondo as you guys saw um, there is some indentations on there but honestly um, I'd rather have it like that than a bunch of Mondo on there for the next guy that has to actually rebuild this car but what I'm gonna go and do is actually take this line out I'm just gonna sand it down wet sand it and then just uh pretty much uh wet sand it and just buff it where you don't see that line anymore hopefully it blends in a little bit more with the this red now it is the same red but since this red has been on here for quite some time this uh this fresh red right here definitely shows out so um hopefully once everything dries in the next day or two uh, we could go ahead and get that settled down. All right, yo, what's up, everybody? Uh, just got done painting the prelude. Let's go ahead and go and check that thing out because it looks mint. Now it took me Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday to uh to get that whole thing ready. Basically, all in all, I was just waiting for the paint to dry um, before I end up doing the clear coat. But let's go ahead and check it out. Mm. Shit looks hella mint. Again, you know, this car isn't perfect, but it definitely gave it a big, nice, upgraded uh, color to it. I mean, listen, this car wasn't in the greatest shape, so this shit was fucked up. And I made it better because I'm just that guy. So it's in the sun, bacon. 
Um, we did the top. Top looks great. But there she is. The car is definitely dirty. Definitely needs a car wash. But all in all, it looks pretty freaking good to me. So there it have. There it goes. Okay, like I was saying, um, we got to get back to the Honda. It's been a long week um, since painting the car. Oh, well, it's time to get back to it. Uh, we got a lot of goodies coming up for you guys. So hopefully, you guys, you you stick around and uh, and watch the progress with the uh, with the Civic and all. Um, but we're gonna save all that stuff for some later videos. Thanks for watching Sick Gorilla TV. There you go.